Hello all of you. My name is Akshay and I am going to present the seminar on free spice introduction. My faculty is Dr. M. K. Chakravarti. So in this seminar I am going to consider the following points. Introduction, then types of analysis, circuit components, file structure, and the libraries, parts, design structure, design example, results and conclusion. So in introduction part, SPICE. What is SPICE? SPICE is a simulation program for integrated circuit emphasis. It is a general purpose analog circuit simulator that is used to verify the circuit designs and to predict the circuit behavior. Secondly, PSPICE. The PC version of SPICE and SPICE uh, is a version that runs on the workstation and larger computers. PSPICE is a software which is used for designing and simulation of the circuits which can be built according to the application. Then PSPICE has analog and digital libraries which various libraries are present uh, depending upon the component like uh, uh, digital logic components and or NAND uh, gates etc then flip flops controllers uh, different transmission lines and um, various uh, components uh, electrical components sources etc where are the types of analysis so we are, the various types of analysis are non-linear disk analysis then linear uh, non-linear transit analysis linear AC analysis noise analysis, sensitive analysis, distortion analysis, Fourier analysis and Carl analysis. Now the circuit components. Various circuit components which are present in the software are uh, like independent and dependent voltage sources. So voltage sources are current sources which can be used for giving the supply to the circuit which can be used and uh, resistors, capacitors, inductors, uh, mutual inductors, transmission lines, then uh, operational amplifiers, switches, diodes, BJTs, MOSFETs, etc., which are very familiar with us. Then terminologies. Uh, there are two terminologies. The subcircuit. A subcircuit allows you to define a collection of elements as a subcircuit. Example, an operational amplifier. And uh, to insert this description into the overall circuit. Second terminology is EDIF, electronic design interchange format standard. Standard uh, uh, published by EIA, usually used for netlist. Netlist is uh, the term exactly. Uh, if the, uh, consider the example like that uh, in a circuit, uh, if we are designing in a schematic, there are two pages or three pages for uh, connecting these pages from one particular uh, from one particular point of one particular terminal to the another terminal. So for connecting without giving the con uh, continuous line that point can be con uh, connected to that uh, uh, different connection uh, with the help of the netlist so for connecting this terminologies uh, connecting this points can be uh, this can be used by using uh, this can be done by using the netlist so now we'll see the what is the capture in the uh, this is a file structure used in a p spice so capture uh, is nothing but that it is a file in that where we can build a circuit uh, depending upon the application by using uh, by taking various components from the library files by connecting uh, these uh, components and uh, generating the uh, uh, circuit so it is called as the uh, schematic so this schematic uh, is can be uh, built in the capture so after after creating this file this uh, the file generated uh, is with the extension of .cir the file generated with the .cir is a capture file. Now, second is the uh, when the circuit is simulated, the .out output file is generated. Now, another different files are with extension like uh, .dat where the you know, binary data is present, then .lib library files where the different components can be, uh, where different components uh, are present. From where we can we take these components to de uh, develop the circuit. Then uh, additional files, uh, different files are like dot sch the schematic file dot als uh, alias files dot net uh, that is uh, net, network connection files so library files and libraries are the, lab, these are the files that contain reusable uh, port data part data then uh, they can be custom or default ones the default ones which are already present or uh, which is which is uh, provided by the software or we can edit or custom the library files some of the library files available in the software of this space are given as listed below. I will read it one by one. ABM.SLB for uh, square roots like multipliers, etc. Then analog.SLB uh, for analog components like resistors, capacitors. Then breakout.SLB for ports. Connect.SLB for dot .plb for connectors. Then EVL.plb uh, for semiconductors. Uh, then uh, special and source for analog and digital sources, etc. 
now we'll see about the parts so part is a basic building block which may represent uh, one or more physical element then function function uh, simulation model and uh, when the part is placed for the first time its entry is done in design catch these are the basic um, or main points about the parts so now we'll see about the design structure so for designing the circuit did, uh, here you can see in the right image there is a folder that is a design resources in which the schematic folder is there and in schematic one folder there are pages one page one and page two so these page one and page two are the schematic pages which is developed in the dspy software or in a, in a schematic software so these pages we can increase or decrease or minimum one page will be there we can connect uh, according to our use so this is the basic design structure of it so you know, the flat design here the points are given in it flat design small designs all pages uh, in same uh, schematic then off page connectors are used for connecting the different pages and uh, shown in the figure then uh, if there are many number of schematics or um, more number of uh, design is very complex for then up for designing the section wise uh, of section wise of the circuit we use different schematics for uh, easiness of a uh, user so it is used uh, it can be developed in different folders you see in this uh, figure schematic one is the main folder then in schematic one subfolder one h0 in there uh, two subfolders are there u4a and u4 u51 then another the h1 folder is there and in having another um, file u1a u2a u3 etc so the structure of this file can be viewed in the following uh, flowchart like diagram where schematic A, schematic A is having two sub uh, schematics, schematic B and schematic C. Then schematic B is having one more schematic D. Then schematic C is having two sub schematics E and F respectively. So this is a tree-like structure which is developed by using the software. So the basic things which are which are very uh, important to remember about this that PSPIs are not case sensitive. Then all elements names must be unique. All the elements which are uh, we are giving in the uh, software for designing the schematic or uh, circuit, the names should be unique for every component. Then there must be a node designated zero. This is the reference node against which all the voltages are calculated. Then one another point about this: if any change is made in the circuit, make sure you create netlist again before simulating it. So these are were the important points about the software. Now we'll see how this software works. After starting the piece by software, we'll get uh, one window, and uh, in that, click on the file menu. In file menu, new, then project, and then uh, after creating on the uh, after clicking on the new, uh, then project, one window will open, and in that window, please click on the analog or mixed K2D, and in following uh, in the below at the bottom, you will see the path for giving the location for storing the project so uh, please give the exact path for where to uh, store the project so the path will be given and uh, click on the ok after clicking the ok one more window will come so that create a based upon the existing project if the already existed project is there and if not then click on the create a blank project click ok now the typical schematic white window you will uh, you will get to see where does we have to build the circuit so in that uh, you have to build your circuit by using various components from the library files now start the placing components uh, from the library files like uh, here in the bottom window you can see various library files are there here add a library as per the requirement for example here analog library has been added as shown in the figure here click the analog and the, it is added into the file library after completing the circuit save and run it Plot the appropriate waveform of plotting the problem. Take the every component which are uh, available in the library, add that library in your circuit, then press OK. Take the every component, whatever the components you are required for the, your circuit. Place uh, egg properly your components, then connect the components uh, by using uh, connecting lines and build the circuit. After completing the circuit, press the run. After run, simulate the simulation will be taken place. So. Uh, you will get the result of that circuit of the simulation. We'll see the one example of the high pass filter of using RC circuit. So here is the example of high pass filter. First, the design steps are given. Uh, take the um, 
take the example of a hypers filter of rc then first we will follow the initial steps creating a new project as already uh, the following step which are required then now placing the components here is the capture window for schematic capacitor and resistor is placed the capacitor will have 1n and resistor 1k voltage source is provided ground is provided connections are made so the probes are there after connecting the circuit we'll see go to the for simulation go to the pspice new simulation profile and give the name for that and create after creating this analysis will be done according to our whatever they require we can choose any analysis of our, according to the our use here we can give the ac analysis for the uh, operation of the filter so after clicking uh, on the pspice run you will see the output of that rc filter here is the result is given in the form of increasing graphs and the window of uh, here in the bottom you can view the window of the current simulation here is the final result which is of the high pass filter from as of increasing graph <coughs> excuse me so this was this is the basic circuit we have simulated in this way we can uh, simulate various or complex circuits depending upon the application and the various uh, for complex circuit so we can take various pages connecting uh, connected to it then conclusion is that and the conclusion of this uh, seminar was we have learned the basics of piece by software and it's functioning theoretically and practically you can uh, observe and uh, do the practice of it we can uh, easily simulate this uh, circuits and uh, another about thing about these software is it is easy and simple for simulation and analysis of this circuit thank you